<laughs> yeah, when we boot up, boot up, boot up, boot up. I tried to learn that song this weekend. How y'all doing before I, before I uh, start singing? Hey, how y'all doing? Feeling so deep in my feelings. That's all I got. <laughs> I did good again. Uh, we had a big weekend this weekend, man. Me and my nephew, he was everywhere. Hey, Tanika. Karen, hey, Karen. What's up, Karen? How you boy doing there? I know he did great this year. I mean, the medals y'all got. But, uh, yeah, we got a hot topic today. Lachey, stay on here. We need you to talk. We need you to call in. Because you got a young boy. And, uh, I need, I need your input on this. So, uh, but anyway, y'all can read the top. What the top? I don't know if y'all can see. Can I see that? Oh. Topic yesterday. He got twelve members, Kevin. Ooh, Kevin's son run track. Kevin Anderson, his son run track. This boy got twelve medals this year. Sixty-three what? Sixty-three medals. You gotta be kidding me, man. That dude is fast. <laughs> uh, yeah, don't, don't say no no way. <laughs> oh, what, why are you saying no way? I'm sorry. I, I don't know why you're saying that. <laughs> uh, 63 medals? Probably so. That dude is fast. What's up, Dre? Okay, 71, 71 and 3. 71 medals in three years? Man, that got to be some kind of record, man. That kid is amazing. How old is he? That's that's representing Vinton right there. What's up, Sharonda? Sharonda say, D, you never shot me out. I'll be looking at your show. You never shot me. Hey, Sharonda. That's my cousin, y'all. <laughs> I love you, gang. Yeah, but that got to be some kind of uh, record, man. 73 medals? I'm not calling. Yeah, come on, man. Call me and don't be scared. Uh, what, what, what'd you say, Dre? They got internet. They already know. They already know what? About that fast kid? They already, yeah, they already know about Kevin Kid. I don't know. I don't know if y'all talking about the same thing I'm talking about. Let me know what y'all talking about. <laughs> that boy only 13? The the y'all this boy thirteen the one that's getting all the medals. Ooh, man, where you get that speed from? Now I don't know you. I don't know if you was fat. Oh, sex. Dre talking about sex. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. We talking about two different things. Dre, we ain't talking about the topic yet. The topic gonna come in in a minute, man. But we talking about Kevin boy. Kevin boy is thirteen years old. And this kid has got 71 medals in three years. That's ridiculous. Now, hold on. Let me get back to Kevin. Kevin, I know you wasn't that fast when you was young. Because I used to beat you all the time. Now, your brother, Derek, was fast. He had them long legs and he was fast. A lot of people couldn't beat Derek in running. Maybe he got that from his uncle. I don't know. But but that kid is fast, fast. He's a different kind of kid. But yeah, man, keep up that good work out there with him. I know he gonna break some records. But uh, yeah, man, I had a good weekend. How y'all was? Oh, let's try. Yeah, well, well, hold up, sugar. We gonna talk about that. You can't just put everything out there right now. He called that a 401k. <laughs> yeah, that's a 401k. Keep him healthy, keep him running. Yeah, keep him in school and you 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 in there. And uh, keep him uh, keep him out of trouble, keep him away from them little girls. What we finna talk about. 
Hey, Kim. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Uh, the topic tonight is what's the appropriate age to talk to your child about sex. Now, I don't have no kids, but we, we still not going to talk about that yet. That's the topic for later, so y'all stay here and listen, and I'm going to tell you we're going to get on that. But don't call in yet. The number up there, 713-714-7670. Don't call in just yet, but I'm going to give y'all a chance to call in and uh, give y'all opinion on that. But I want to tell y'all about my weekend. I want to give a sh super shout out to my nephew. Yeah? First of all, I want to give a shout out to my nephew. And uh, I'm going to give a shout out to my nephew because he helped me out a whole lot this weekend. DJ, I'm a, I used to call him Akili, but he got a new name. So y'all start calling him by his new name. Yeah? His name is DJ I'm Good. Okay? Okay? That boy did the thing this weekend. First of all, we had a, uh, oh, I want to give a, a shout out to, hey, Jemaya. Want to give a shout out to Jakeenan. Congratulations on him and Summer, his fiance. They are going, they had a gen, gender reveal, gender reveal. Hi, I'm, I'm so tripping. Gender review. Oh, what a, how you say it? <laughs> I'm just tripping. I'm just saying y'all pay attention. Uh, gender review, review, revere, review. <laughs> what I'm saying? <laughs> reveal, gender reveal party. What's up, Ty? Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I already got it. Now you way too late. <laughs> gender reveal party, and he's having a little. Girl, congratulations, man. He was kind of upset at first, but you know, on his first kid, he wanted a boy. But everybody, you know, everybody don't have a boy on their first boy. Well, my niece, I mean, her first child. Well, my niece had her first baby. I wanted her to have a little boy, but she had the sweetest little girl. Everybody know Aaliyah? Everybody familiar with Aaliyah out here in these streets, baby? But she's just the sweetest she can be. But uh, yeah, you gonna have you gonna have a good time with your little girl, man. Oh, Ty, you know the topic tonight. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it up there, but I, I want you to call in too. But we we're not gonna talk about it. Let me, let me, let me. It's gonna be in a minute, probably about seven twenty, seven something. Okay. Uh, another thing, my cousin, a Landon Roberts, a Landon Roberts Foundation. He had a heart walk this weekend. Yeah, and he brought a couple of his NFL friends down. Well, my, my cousin, he actually plays for the Patriots. And he brought a couple of his NFL friends down. And they put together, well, I think Atlanta put it together by itself. But it's called a Heart Walk. And it's the second annual. Me and my nephew was out there DJing and going live and hula hooping with the kids. They had water. They had vendors. They had uh, Christian Southeast Texas. Um... They was out there, they had Texas Roadhouse, they had mm, Total Nutrition, they had the Black Nurses Association, Chili's, they was out there giving food, watermelon, we was drinking, dancing, not, not drinking uh, alcohol, we was drinking water, we was dancing, eating watermelon, sandwiches, everything, it was live. So next year, I'll probably post something big, I'm gonna get the information from him. And we're gonna do it big. I want all y'all to come. We're gonna make it, we're gonna make history out there. Cause this young man, he's doing something positive for the neighborhood. Uh, it's a heart walk he gives to his, uh, he donates to his uh, charity. And uh, gotta, gotta keep good stuff like that going. Good causes, good people doing good causes. And I like that, I like it a lot. And I was, I'm happy, I'm honored to be a part of it. And uh, yeah, DJ, I'm good, held it down, aka Akili, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I help you, did it, man. I help you, you know what I'm saying? What's up, What's up, that big lad? <laughs> uh, yeah, I got a video, What's up, that big lad? I'm gonna try to keep him going, keep him going. And I want y'all, y'all gotta share that stuff, man. Share it for me. And uh, yeah, blow it up, make it big, man. What's up, Kim Jackson? 
going on, neighbor? That's my, my childhood neighbor, man. They have the baddest dogs in the neighborhood. Dog almost killed my neighbor. Uh, they almost ate Tammy. Y'all remember that? Remember that, Laura? The dogs almost ate Tammy. Tammy Daddy had to come out there with that trash can. That's when they had them iron trash cans back in the day. He put a dent in that pacer. And, uh, Shorty, you left and came back? Hey, if you didn't hear the first one, <laughs> I'm sorry. But, uh, yeah, man, we had a great weekend. Great weekend out there with the kids and stuff. Is that video on YouTube? About what, Lord? I don't know what you're talking about. I done said a whole bunch of stuff. About the hot walk? What video? We got a lot of videos on YouTube. Uh, anyway, we had a nice weekend. We, we'll do it every year, hopefully. Hopefully that happens every year. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to start putting on, putting on a bunch of stuff out here, man. And uh, we need y'all to come. Come support, come have fun. Come support, have fun. Uh, relax, you know, cause you be working all the time. You might as well come have fun with your boy. Cause that's what I do. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Jeremiah Wooddale. Oh no, the bus out that big lab video is on uh, Facebook. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't put it on YouTube. But I might just put it on YouTube and share it to y'all. Y'all go and watch it. I don't know. However that works. But uh, yeah, we're gonna start this big topic in about, about five more minutes. So uh yeah, shout out to all my cousins, Elandon, Elandon's dad, Eli. Uh, my cousins came out, Domino, uh, Wendell, Calvin, everybody came out. It was nice. That's, that's just the name I caught. If I started naming everybody, I'd, that'd be the end of the show. By the time I get finished, but we had a great time. And the thing is, it wasn't even all my cousins out there that still had a whole bunch of people. We had a good time. Dancing, laughing, drinking water. And uh, the EMT, well, who was there? The Kadiana. The Kadiana EMT people was out there just in case people pass out. And I was letting people know, look, don't drink all this cold water at one time. Drink it really slow because my, uh, my, my CPR card had expired and I wasn't about to get out there and uh, perform no CPR without my card because I have to have that card in order to save your life. What's up, Amp? What's going on, man? I ain't seen you in years. I see you be uh, tuning in on here. Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. Love you, man. You got Louisiana in the house. Everybody in the house, man. Thank y'all. Yeah, but we gonna hopefully we do the heart walk every year. Uh, I'm sorry, my cousin Carl was out there. Glenn came out. All his sisters, Linda, Mona, Bud, uh, Janet, all of them was out there. Preshawn, yeah, we had a good time. My brother Wesley was out there. It was nice. You missed it, Lark. You missed it. But uh, tonight' topic is gonna be what's What's the appropriate age to talk to your child about sex? Nah, I don't wanna, I don't want to, uh, yeah, all the people from home is on tonight. And uh, got Louisiana deep in, deep in here. Lachey, you gonna, you gonna call in? Huh? Yeah? I hope so. A key to change that thing to focus. Did you? Because it'd be switching. I think it's the camera that do it every year. I mean, every time. It's the camera, huh? I don't know. I don't know how it goes. But, uh, 
What's up, Jared? Yeah, uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The topic tonight is... What's the appropriate age to talk to your child about sex? And we're not going to talk about that until about... What's up, Quentin? Got Orange Texas in the house? Well, why that's a thumbs down, uh, Tanika? Just let me know why that's a thumbs down. That's a, that's a great topic. People don't know. People need to know this information. You're going to have to do it one day. If you don't do it, the streets are going to do it. So what you rather? You rather somebody else tell your kid? You rather you tell me. Huh? Well, that's right. You gotta turn that thumb, that thumb down upside of the other way. Or I get upset. You don't want me to get upset on the <laughs> You don't want me to get upset online. But uh yeah, my brother Zeke don't come in with me in a little bit. Matter of fact, he he had kids. And uh she said it's an amazing topic, but she ain't gonna call in though. Ah, oh, come on, baby girl, this will make your thing interesting, man. Ain't nobody ain't gonna say you don't have to say who you are. Just call in, you'll be anonymous. We'll just talk. It'll be just like that lady, that lady know. You know that when, when a lady calls, we'll be like, oh, she knows a lot. She knows everything. So that'll be you. We ain't gonna tell nobody. <laughs> right, a key. Uh, uh, DJ, I'm good. I'm sorry. We're gonna have to we're gonna block that out. So call it. So we're gonna we're gonna wait about <laughs> we're gonna wait about ten more minutes. I said five minutes ago, but we're gonna wait about ten more minutes. But yeah, we're gonna I'm gonna get a lot of people on here to tune in. So cause I want all y'all to uh call, comment on it. Cause a lot of people don't know. And nowadays stuff is changing. Me myself, I don't have kids. Some kids, some of y'all have kids that's uh, ah, yeah, some of y'all grandmothers are, are pawpaws already. So maybe you should have talked earlier. Maybe you, I don't know. I don't know. That's we're gonna get to the bottom. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. You know, I can't say nothing. I don't have no yeah, nothing around it. But if I was you, I say, well, I'll tell you in a minute. <laughs> I'm learning a new song, y'all. Uh, y'all probably already know. Boot up, boot up. <laughs> I, I'm gonna sing. I'm gonna learn it so I can sing it. And, uh, see how I do on it. So, yeah, but if y'all want to call in, y'all see the number seven one three seven one four seven six seven zero. Matter of fact, I got a lot of new videos on Facebook. Y'all go click on them, like them, share them. So we can get some stuff jumping over here, y'all. <laughs> she said, you better sing. Well, I'm going to sing it. Uh, I know a little bit. I don't know how to start a kid. Feeling so deep. You see, when you close your eyes like that, you... Feeling so deep in my feelings. Girl, you do something to me. That, that ain't the right one. <laughs> Don't get me on here clowning, girl. Don't be, uh, you supposed to be calling in talking about the topic. She got me clowning. What y'all show what we doing, huh? Uh, yeah, but the number is, like I was saying, 713 The topic tonight is... Um, what's the appropriate age to talk to your child about sex? The talk. The birds and the bees, the dogs and the dolphins, the whales and the elephants. I guess. I don't know. To tell you the truth, when I was young, girl, I was, uh, <laughs> I, I didn't really get I didn't really get to talk, man. What's up, Nisi? Nisi on here. Sharika? What's up, girl? We got Cali Sh Sharika from California. No doubt about it. California knows how to party. But when I was young, I didn't really get to talk. My mom was heavy in church. Oh, whoa, 
whoa. We got a call coming in. It ain't even turn the call. I'm gonna see who this is. See who this is, y'all. See who this is. Call from. Hey, I don't know who this is, but you lie on Talk Up with Silky Black. What's going on? You Huh? Can you hear? Yeah, who this is? This is Kevin. What's going on, man? What's that, Mike? <laughs> you lie, baby. Yeah, well, I, I, I say like 11. And 12 is the best age to talk. Oh. Uh, to your child. 11 and 12, you think so? Yeah. You know what? Nowadays, Kevin, this is my opinion. I don't have I don't have kids yet. But I think that's a little late. Because really? 11, 11 and 12, what age are they? I mean, what's what grade are they in? Oh, uh, 56. Ooh, yeah, buddy, you might you might be a paw paw by then. Cause let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Because nowadays, uh, all this internet stuff, like like Dre was saying earlier, everybody got the internet. Everybody got the uh, you know the browsing thing on their phone. So yeah, all they have to do, they know how to spell whatever they need to know. They, they know. All you have to do is type it in and it, it pretty much finish it for you. So they say, girl. Yeah, they're going to they gonna, they gonna have an idea and then, then it's time to come in with the info. Or what to do exactly. right and what not to do. What you said? I'm sorry. I said, they'll have the idea, you know, like Google and you search stuff, YouTube and all that. But then, once they have an interest in you, you start telling them, look, this is what you're supposed to do. Right. This is what you're not supposed to do. I got five of them. Ooh. I'm telling them, look, I don't need to be a four, four, five times. Exactly. Exactly. Because I was moving real fast. Yeah. Real early. What's up, Zach? We got my brother Zach in the house. Zeke. What's but, going on? Uh, all right, all right, Kevin. Hey, man, thank you for calling, man. I really appreciate it. So you say about 11, 12. Let, 11, let, 12. Let, let me get let me get my brother caught up on the on the topic, and uh, we gonna go from there. But thank you for calling, young man. Super all right. Man. Introducing introducing Zeke, y'all. Uh, testing one one one. Okay. You uh you came in on the end, but topic of the day is. What's the appropriate age to talk to your child about sex? Now, uh, I think I think Tanika just called in. Uh, I mean, uh, I'm sorry, a young lady just called in, but uh, it was a Louisiana number. Uh, if you can call back, I would really appreciate it. But um, uh, this young man called in, Kevin. He said 11 or 12 was the appropriate time. <sighs> That's a good time, man, because you know. Uh, I caught the tail in the conversation. One thing I heard uh, Kevin saying was that he didn't want to be a pop off too yeah. early. Too early, right? You know, with social media, with the way these kids have access I to just, things, I just say and we have access. We used to have access to it too, but it's instantly, it's instant in their hands. I mean, we got they carrying these around basically. If it's not used uh, appropriately, so Jeremiah. basically, you know, um, I would say as early as possible. You know, uh, my own kids, I talked to them when they was like probably 11, 12. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, uh, raw. Oh, yeah. we, we got a call coming okay, in. Hold on. Call we're yeah. we going to get this call, y'all. We're going to get this thing popping. It's going good tonight. All right, all right. Let's do it. Awesome. Uh,. I got a caller on the line. Hey, you live on Talk Up with Silky Black. What you got to say? You're going to talk on the topic tonight. It's about what's the appropriate age to talk to your child about sex. Um, I don't know. I would say it, it really depends on the child. Oh. And on their understanding. Um, because today these kids know a whole lot more than we think. Right. Um. 
a lot more than we give them credit for as well. Mm -hmm. So um, I would pretty much say, depending on the parents and the kids, you know, their understanding, and you know, you can take it from there. Well, uh, thank you for uh, calling in. That's definitely we appreciate your feedback. But are you so you saying that you was gonna wait? It just depends on the child and where the child is. You know, what is understanding? Because you have seven year olds who uh, you know know exactly what's going on. Mm. Oh no, I agree with you. I definitely agree with you. Yeah. And you got and you got some twelve years old that don't know what's going on. Hmm. I mean, you know, the parents, I mean, that that's a little, to me, that's a little too, pretty much it's too old for me, 12 years old, because I'm saying because of the way these kids are today. Yeah. A 12, 12 year old, I don't know, they're not blind to the fact that what's going on. So, I mean, 12, if you just talking to your kid that's 12, then you're late. Well, you, you said a mouthful because it do. It depends on the parents. It because a lot of nowadays, I can say nowadays, it's not really a child without a cell phone. No. Right. I mean, they got access to all those uh, websites. They probably shouldn't be going to the, some of the games. Yeah. Some of the games mm -hmm. have sexual the content. Yeah. I mean, uh, they they. I know. I played a game and it had like. You get points, or it's a mission. You gotta get with some prostitutes. Whoa! Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, it, it was, was it a free game. Oh, it was a good game. It was a good game. Yeah, I like that game. <laughs> Play that game all the time. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. But I had to get rid of. I had to get we, rid of the game. We, we gotta talk about that later. Yeah, different <laughs> show. Different show. Different show. That's a YouTube show. That's a YouTube. <laughs> well, I guess my question is, like, you know, I, I mean. Bringing, like you say, do you do you ever like think that if you tell them too early and you think they're ready and they're not really ready, that you basically grow your child up a lot faster than you want to? Because I, I don't know, it's a it's a balancing kind of thing. I don't know. Pretty much because um, I know if I talk to my four year old, he's four. Okay. Um, if I ask him certain questions. He'll give me the answer, and I'm sitting here wondering how he knows. How it. does he know? So, that put right. you on the spot. You know, um, because there are other kids at school, exactly. or, you know, family members or whoever it may be. Right. And they have phones at school, too. They have access to some things. Right. So, not to put you... Depending on the... If you, go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. I want you to finish what you're saying. <laughs> um, you know, if you question your child. You know, depending on if they, if they're clueless or, you know, then you can take from that, I would say. Okay. Well, I said, and not to put you on the spot or anything like that, but have you thought about or had a conversation with your, your child about that right now, or is it still too early? To me, it's too early now. We talked about, you know, inappropriate touches. Okay. Uh -oh. No, no, no. You got to do that as what? soon as they can talk. You got to do that. Yeah, yeah. Where, where did that go? I mean, how, what? <laughs> what happened? Tell me what happened. Can you give me an example? Well, you know, they be at the school, nah. man. You can't have them adults just, you know, taking them to the restroom. And... Wait, but did he have, did he, did he, he, do he know what body parts is? He know what titties? <laughs> titties. <laughs> Cause I was a titty baby, I was a baby, I was like, just, I used to like titties. You just ran up, just random titties, just. Okay, okay. Yeah, so, you know, I mean, like I said, I don't want to put him on the spot, but I can say to him, um, the body parts he has, the body parts mommy has, they're not the same. Okay. Uh, What's up, Jimmy? You no, know, because he, he, he saw, and then he was like, what is that okay. on TV? And I was lost because I didn't really know what to tell him. But. <laughs> I feel like I'm like, 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 I'm Take a shower and jump out and think they sleep and they bust in the room. It's like, yeah, you know, right. it could be it could be a situation like that. So, what's up, Mike? But wow, I I, I don't you know I, like I I I talked to my kids when they were like you know 11, 10, because you know in, in my situation the reason why is because you know when 
they was growing up for a while. They was believing in you know the Santa Claus thing, you know. And then after I got tired of doing that, <laughs> wanted to let it know who really was provided. <laughs> I say, uh, yeah, you know Santa Claus ain't, but you know Santa Claus. And I'm like, no, oh, but it was the way they said it, like the innocence is gone. Yeah. I'm like, well, this might be his last year. <laughs> you know, he got to, you know, we got to turn it over I mean, like, to the dead. parents. He dead. Yeah, he well, fell off the roof. It well, was snowing. He fell off the roof well, and broke his neck. Well, well <laughs> what was interesting is my younger son, when he kind of came up, he started to, I don't know how these kids do this because hey, you, bro, don't, you don't even have to even say Santa Claus in your house. They go everywhere they see it. Exactly. They turn on the right. TV, they see it in the schools, they promoting it. And that's stuff that right. you don't even get to uh, have an input of saying. Yeah, discuss, right. right, right. So it's like when you talk about something like, you know, sex or something, you say, you know, but yeah, who nobody wants to be an early, you know, so we got we got eleven. Ah. And you, what what age do you say? You said you never said an age. What age you think? She said seven, I think. I don't. I'm not gonna say an age. Oh, you're not gonna say age, okay? Well, it's, oh, you saying, you're saying it just it just depends on the child. The advancement of the child. Okay, right? I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah, and because people households might be different. You might yeah. have. Sure. You might not. Have, some people don't have a lot of their kids on a computer or to have a phone. Right. And you know, you you right. You, you you're right. It it. it, it varies on you know whether you different races because you know uh i've actually seen some in the hispanic community mm -hmm. where they would let the uh, girlfriend stay over and spend the night and the girlfriend oh, they, like 12 they, oh, 13 that's, years old that's their culture they start early you know and i'm like what spend a I night had, i had a cold and mama and mama close the door and go to bed and then they play house oh no no yeah, I, I, I had a co-worker he was 12 and he was a grandfather his his son had just got married and he was six. Yeah. And his oh. wife, his wife was uh, four, and they had a baby that was six months. No, no I'm, <laughs> I'm just joking. Yeah. I'm just joking. He lied. He lied. He lied. He lied. He lied. But look, I, I want, I want to get on these comments. These people. Come comments. on, let's see what was going on with uh, these comments. Let me hang up this phone. All right. Hey, hey well, thank, you thank, thank you for calling. Thank you for calling. Y'all welcome. All have right. a good night. Yeah. So look, let, let's get on these people that's that's uh so, they, they roasted me on here. What did what Quint, Quint would say? Uh, Quint would say that I was humping in the fifth grade in Miss Lawrence's class. Ooh, scroll down a little bit, let me see it again. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Scroll down, and then my sister say, "What's that titty?" Ooh, <laughs> what's that titty titty? Man, titty, titty. <laughs> that, that was, now okay, and he don't know me. From younger than that, but I was younger than that when I started looking at titties. Yeah, yeah I was in church watching them ladies have the Holy Ghost. Fifth grade, and they used to jump around, Mrs. and I used to be like, "Thank you, Jesus." Class. <laughs> you, a, you know they used they used to call it mash back in the day. Yeah, you, I was being mad. You was a little man. mash back in the day. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, be, okay. They used okay. to be in church having the Holy Ghost yeah, jumping yeah. up and down. You just running and hugging everybody. I was like, "Thank you, Lord." <laughs> Thank you. Lord, get home with the Holy Ghost. Get home with the Holy Ghost. Yes. Okay, okay. I love this church. Thank you, okay, Jesus. Okay, okay, calm down, calm down, calm down. We didn't go to church until grade first and last. Hey, but you know what? You bring this up. That's a good thing. It's like, what happens, you know, you hey, have Tina. if you have the conversation with your kid, but you find out in the process of having the conversation. That your child is already sexually active. Ooh, I don't know, man. I'm How do you? Kids, no, I mean I'm just saying, like, it don't have to be if you have kids. It could be, you know, it could be somebody related to you. It could be a little cousin. And How do you handle that? Because that's a that's a little bit different, you know. Because once you start, uh, you know, you start doing stuff, you kind of like, well, what would happen? Uh, it's, 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 it's the sex ghost in the building. <laughs> the Holy Ghost the, in the, the camera. Y'all seen the camera move? We didn't do that. Nobody did that. It yeah, just, just, just did it random. Okay, we need to we need to keep it moving. Keep it moving. Nah. Nah, but I mean like how you had that conversation and I think that's what you gotta do. You gotta have a conversation. We gotta talk about this. What's up, man? Because I know in the black community, you know, sex was very taboo. Right. It was like if you start having sex you get pregnant, this is mostly for females, you, you're getting out of my house. Right. If you was male, uh, boy, you had a baby. You gotta get married. You gotta go get married, you gotta go get a job. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 
And these are still children. Right. And they don't really, they haven't really, they're, they're, they're adults trying to become uh, adults and they really don't know, you know, what to do. Mm-hmm. So I don't know, it's interesting, man. Wow, yeah. You, you came up with an explosive topic, yes. man. This is, this is something, like you said, in the black community, we don't talk about we it. Don't, we don't even talk about it. It's like an unspoken rule that you already supposed to know right. what right. to do. And a lot of kids. And, and unfortunately, oh, sex, call, ed- call in, man. sex education in, in, in schools don't happen. Until high school. Yeah. And, and by then, they, uh, they full blown. Nowadays, it's way too late. Oh, it's too late. Yeah, I, I, I agree. And you know, you don't have to go full, you know, titty. Don't have to just pop out like that. But I mean, it does need to be, you know, a conversation that, you know, I mean, because back in the day, what, what would they do? They showed a little cartoon of the, the little bird flying with the baby. And that's right. not what happens. Right. And so, you know, the kids grow up, they're thinking, oh, well, it's just, it's not so bad. And then it comes. But see, my thing is not just educating, you know, about, you know, uh, kids having sex and, and babies happen, but, you know, they need to talk about after the baby comes in, the cost of a baby and what you need from that and the support. I mean, it, it takes a lot to raise a child. And uh, most of the, uh, the, the, the young, People who are having kids, they just really ain't ready, in my opinion. They're not, they, they, they feel like they're grown, they're ready for sex, but they're not ready to have that responsibility. I don't know, I just don't do sex. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, interesting. Hey, man, uh, well, I, I missed earlier than that. What else you talk about? Nah, this, this, this gonna be the topic. This gonna be the day. Right, okay. Man. okay. We got, we got, what's up, Trakel? Uh, Trakel, uh, a man said he's gonna call in. Call in, please. Uh, Trakel. 713-714-7670. Yeah, uh, Trakel got a young, yeah. a young baby and well, a teenager. And see, my, my, my whole thing is just the way, because you know, with boys, it's different. Uh oh, no, uh oh. oh no, no, it is. It's we like, into something else. It's, 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 we it's, it's something boy, else. boy, don't you? Oh, all right. And, and, and for me, it's almost kind of like this macho this that it's this passing down. And it ain't cool because you got a lot of young male boys having babies and they can't take care of them. And the, and the girl, she has to stop her life, you know, take care of the baby and the boy goes off and do whatever. So, you know, it needs to, we need to, you know, mm. it ain't cool. This is if interesting. You, if you, if you, if you, now, if you do our own folk stuff, you need to be able to. Well, we, we can go to that too. Okay. If. You have a girl. Do you if you do when you do talk to them, do you treat the girl different from the boy conversation? You know, the, the, the sex conversation different from oh, yeah. for the boy and the girl. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got, we got a hot line. We got a hot line tonight, baby. Hold up. Call from. Hey, thanks for calling Talk Up. This is Silky Black. You on live. Silky Black and Zeke. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's all good. Come on, yeah. come on. Hello, hello. <laughs> what, what, what's going on, gentlemen? How y'all doing? Hey, what's going on, my brother? Talk to him. Shoot, nothing much, nothing much. I, I hear uh, panicking like every other parent. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Shoot, what's going on, man? Hey, hey, hey. Uh, you, you don't, you don't, for those who don't know me, I got, I've got five kids, okay. four girls, one boy. All right, all right, congratulations. Wait, 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 so, did you say four girls and one boy? Absolutely. Or do you have your heart medicine on, on hand, uh, on deck? Man, I'm, I'm rebuking that. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> oh, well, that, well, that's what I was finna say. I was gonna say, no, he probably got a pistol yeah. loaded. <laughs> that's his heart medicine. Hey, yeah, I'm gonna and, and at the door, as that's soon as it ran. There you go, there you go, there you go. It's a very it's a very upfront conversation. How you doing? You know? Yeah, yeah. That's absolutely. I'm doing, I'm doing well, I'm doing well. But I, I tell y'all how I feel, you know, what I think about. So I, I mean, my kids range from four to 16. Okay. Uh, so I've already had this discussion with some of them. What, what was the age you started? Uh, man. The, the first time I had this conversation, it was probably around 10 with my eldest. Okay. Um, okay. 
we we had a situation that happened in our in our family. Okay. Um, something else that we're gonna talk about, which is like you know, um, molestation and everything. Yes, like yes, okay. yes, yes. Um, Preach, my brother. I, I thank you for sharing point. that because. I felt like, go ahead. No, I was just telling. Oh, you, yeah. Thank you for sharing yeah. that because, uh, and I don't mean to cut you off, but that does go on a mm -hmm. lot more. And it's, Way too it's so taboo, right. people don't want to talk about it. But go ahead and continue what you're saying, right. sir. Right. So, yeah, so as me, I wanted to make sure that uh, not only she, but also that my other kids had some sort of idea of what was okay versus what wasn't okay. Okay. Um, when they needed to alert me or, you know, their mother or, you know, just anybody, one of their parents, grandparents, somebody who could make a stop. Okay. Um, so, so it, it, it happened kind of early, but what I realized is that something somebody commented on there earlier, mm -hmm. that kids are exposed to a lot more, a lot sooner right. nowadays than what we were when we were growing up. Mm -hmm. So like when you, when you, when you so, spoke, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. I know it's a lag, so go ahead, what you got? Oh, no, no, no. What I was saying was is that when you talked to your uh, son, what was his reaction to it? Was it, I mean, was you, did he reveal something to you that you didn't know that he knew, or was there this, you know? Nah. Okay. Nah. At, at, at that age, um, it's more so kind of like, man, I don't really feel like having this conversation. Um, right. You know, talking about, oh. you know, that uh, that type of stuff. So it's, 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 it's more of a, man, just let me get back to what I was doing yeah. type of thing. <laughs> No, hey. that's right. You know, my, my middle son, when I had the conversation with him, you know, he bust out laughing. It's like I embarrassed him. But he yeah. was like, he wanted to get back to right. me. I don't want to hear about that, daddy. I'm playing my yeah, game. That's nasty. That's nasty. Yeah. I'm like, is you doing nasty? Right. And he was like, nah, I'm like, all right. I had to ask because, like, you know, you say you don't you don't know what's yeah. going on. And, and these kids, like, my kids, like, when, when they would have school trips, they go out of town. Um, you know, they try to get them girlfriends when they get to high school as early as possible. My son was like in the ninth grade, he had a girl that was like in 11th and 12th. I'm like, hey man, you moving kind of fast. And she got her own car and he like, you ain't got to pick me up daddy. She'll be like, wait a minute, what you, what you doing? Wait a minute. I know this, I know where this is going. <laughs> yeah, so thank you. Go ahead. Yeah, absolutely. No, absolutely. And you know, like I, like I said, I think I appreciate y'all for bringing up the topic. I think it's something that we gotta bring up more. Exactly. Um, and, and I and I, I will say this: I didn't have the conversation growing up. It was more so just don't do it. Right. right. Um. And, and that didn't work for me. As you think, as, I, as I said, I got five. Uh -huh. Right. 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 So, and, and it's not all for my wife. I got you. I got you. I got you. Well, brother, we shall so, thank you for so sharing. Talk has to be real. Yeah. Well, you know what? No you, it do. No, no, no. But no, I don't mean to cut you off. But you're right. It does have to be real. No, but let, let me get. I'm gonna grab this other call real quick. But go ahead, Zach. No, I was just saying, like you know, the conversation that I remember growing up was uh, once you start having babies, you gotta take care of. That's what my mama told me. When you have them, you gotta take care of them. So, but yeah, man, thank you for calling, man. That was. You know, good to hear that yeah, perspective. Thanks, man. Well, hold on, one more, one more question before we go. Okay, so did you have? No, to, he, oh, this guy. Yeah. We lost him. Hey, appreciate you for calling. Yeah. Man, these yeah. kids know way more than they. <sighs> yeah, we calling somebody back. We, we, we just call called back. Yeah. But we, thanks, thanks, man. You man. Hello. Hey! hey. Just, we missed the call. We calling you back, man. Live from the Sick and Black show. Yeah, we doing it on. Hey, man. Hey. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. It's okay. It's okay. What's the gentleman that's with you? Zeke, Zeke. What's going on, brother? Hey, how you doing? I'm good, sir. I'm very good. I, I just want to, I want to give a different, different twist, man. I was talking to my daughter uh, here recently. This last week, as a matter of fact. Uh, let me, let me, let me uh, uh, set this up. I come from all boys. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, all boys, five boys. So, uh, my, my dad, it wasn't uh, two different standards. One standard for girls, one standard for boys. Mm -hmm. You understand? It was one standard, just for uh, just all dudes in the house. We didn't have a, a specific curfew for boys, 
specific curfew for girls. So my daughter calls me the other day. She said, you know what, Daddy? Uh, when I have children, she's 21. Okay. She's uh, going into a senior year at a prayer view. Okay. She said, when I have children, uh, it, all things are going to be equal. When mm. I have a boy, when I have a girl, all the standards going to be the same. Mm. You know, if the boy had to be in at one, then my daughter, she cool with one o'clock. I said, no, watch your mouth, girl. Mm. You know what I'm uh, saying? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. That, that's my great favorite y'all talking about. Uh, uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> this one, I got all worked up. You, you had to put your foot down, huh? <laughs> got all worked up, and they ain't even, they ain't even, uh, they ain't even been uh, thought of a problem. Yeah. Uh, uh, I got all worked up, I say, and she said, I'm tired of this double standard stuff. Mm. One standard for girls, one standard for, for, for boys. I say, look, your daddy always keep it real with you, one person. You have to have two different uh, uh, standards. Uh-oh, 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 where, uh-oh, where uh-oh, you going uh-oh, with this? Uh-oh, let me hear, uh-oh, let me hear. Uh-oh, I'm going to let him break it down. <laughs> you about to step into something now. <laughs> uh-huh. You have to have, uh, uh, gentlemen, two different uh, standards. Okay. Because you're both gentlemen, right? That's you right. know what we do. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, I know. At a party. Oh, yeah. What? <clears throat> what? <laughs> you gonna break it down. But you know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. If you have a daughter and a son, say they both 15, uh-huh. would you require a different standard for them? That was the question for the night. I mean, my, for me, if, if my son went out, at, if my, I, I have an uh, 18 year old. 16 year old and six year old. Six year old, I don't worry about it. But if my 16 year old went out on like to prom or something, I would be less concerned with him being a boy than if it was a girl. Well, it depends on the the reason? What's the reason? Because because I'd have been to prom. I know what go down. I know what goes with that. Oh, look out now. But wait, but wait, I want to stop you right there because, like, like the young lady said earlier, the caller, it depends on the child. You might have a child like me. I was, I was, I was, I was ready. Like, what they, what they, who they, who they, who they. But you might have a, a, a child like my nephew. He's laid back. He, right. He he, he, uh, he observed the, the surroundings. That's right. And you know, a, a young lady run up on him talking about let's go. He gonna be like nah. <laughs> well, so I guess I guess it, it just depends on how prepared you have because I know kids, especially like when they're in you know high school. No, it's okay, man. They they you know they're gonna do things. They're gonna do things on a whim. What's up, you can't. You know, and and just understand that whim might cost you. You know, what I'm saying a little bit more than that fun. Right. And so it's just making sure. I mean, it's 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 a difficult kind of thing. It is a double standard. I'm I'm not gonna sit up and say yeah, it. Yeah, it's a double standard. You know, but, you know, but I, we didn't say that. Before I let anyway. you guys go, mm-hmm. I want I want to talk about one other thing that I'm gonna let y'all go. Uh huh. Uh, that's Zeke. You said Zeke. Yeah. Zeke, that's the one that was talking about the girl. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh yeah, uh, I, I can't really tell what age. <laughs> I, uh, you know, you you remember that first time? Virginia. You remember, you always remember that first time. <laughs> Don't lie now. Would you about 12, 13, You know what I'm saying? The pastor might call me. Oh, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. That's right. That's right. Because I was young, <laughs> I was younger than 15. Oh, right. oh, okay, okay. No, all this old, 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 Flesh on. Yes. Ooh. Yes. Yes. He said, he tells me, he said, yeah, yeah, they after me, but they tease me because I'm a virgin. Oh, okay. Ain't that wrong. You know, he said, it, they, it, well, uh, I, it ain't that wrong for me, but it's right. wrong for him. Right. You know I mean? Right. Because I would be, uh, uh, you know how he was, uh, grew up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a challenge. Right. These, these girls are coming up to him and 
laughing and teasing. He got a little girlfriend now, but look, look, look at the little bird. Okay, okay. You, know, uh, you wouldn't know what to do with all this. You know what I mean? Ooh. Then, all what? Ooh. Now, I need some feedback. <laughs> yeah, that, that. I mean, you know, I, 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 I sympathize. I'm just gonna tell you like I told my son, cause you know, he had him a little girlfriend. She was like a little junior, a senior. And I had him, I asked him, I said, y'all doing something? And he said, <laughs> I tried to come kind of mild with it. And then, because I wasn't sure if he understood what I said, I told him that you put your pecker in something you ain't had no business in. The more I start talking to him, the more he's like, nah, dad, I ain't trying to what you kind of do that. I, I, you know, and, and, you know, I was like kind of relieved, but I was half scared because I didn't know if the answer, you know, because once them boys start dipping, then next thing you know, then they, you know, you tell them to take out the trash, they're looking at you like, you Yo. take out the trash. Yo. Uh -oh. You know, they grown now. And Yo. so it's a, it's a, I think you got to talk to your son. You got to let him know that, hey, man, he really ahead of the crowd. Because well, you know, uh, 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 I'm coming, we're coming from two different spectrums. Mine, the way I grew up, I feel like he behind. Okay. Mom, mm -hmm. when, when I came up, my dad was like, "Hey, I don't want no punks in this house." And oh yeah. No to nobody that's listening. Right, 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 right. We I got you. No, uh, 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 Parks in this house. Y'all go out and do this, do that, do that. You know what I mean? Because right. He didn't have any daughters. Gotcha, gotcha, he gotcha. He could be wide open. Right. Well, see, but then... My mom mm -hmm. preached Jesus. And gotcha. Gotcha. Like life together, you say, you know, That's right, yeah. and, uh, you know uh, when you get a wife, and when you uh, uh, get a wife, then you have sex. But my dad was on a complete uh, different uh, spectrum, on a, way on the other end. No, 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 no. What it, what, it, what it is was back in the day, them men was men. Right. You know, they was, they was busy. And when you raising a child in this generation, it's so right. different. I mean, the way you, you you talk to them, you know, they might take it, you know, like, you know, some of these kids you can give a hard talking to. With me, you had to whoop me with an extension card. I, you just gonna have to show me. Yeah. And so, you know, <laughs> I I mean, it's it's just it's a it's a bad. I think every parent is your job to know your child. Mm. Yeah. And so yeah. I'm just gonna leave it at that. But when I said that your son is ahead of the curve, what I'm saying is, is that you got your whole future ahead of you. Yeah. Once you start having sex and babies come, it your life no, can change. It ain't no turning back. <laughs> your, your life can change. And not only can your life change, it may go in a totally different direction than you wanted it to go. So it's, it's, it's about letting them know that, you know, I mean, I know, like you say, the kids, they peer pressure. Oh man, you ain't doing this, you ain't with what's up. But at the end of the day, most high school friends, they don't end up being friends past that point. And you know, one of the days they look back and they see, you know, your child successful and he went on and done the things that he needed That's to do. Right. And then That's he right. looks back at them and she got about four or five babies with three, four, five yeah. baby daddies. Then he gonna know that he made the right choice. He's gonna make the right choice. I'm gonna tell you my uh, story then I'm gonna, I'm gonna let y'all go. Okay. See, you said that four yeah. stories. I know, it, it was getting good to him. <laughs> okay. When I was 17, I was a high When I was 17. Oh, okay. 17, like college, I was college material, ready to go to college, right? But I, uh, I was sewing my oats, and, and so, uh, uh, you know, when you don't wrap it up, okay. guess what? You feel yourself. You get a young girl pregnant, That's and right. guess what? I had to go into the Air Force. Okay. That's so, right. Anybody that listens, Listen to me from experience. Uh, if you choose to have sex, uh, I wouldn't recommend it. Mm. But do protect yourself and, and go on to college and have a great future and, uh, and go that route. But you know, late, later on, I was able to do that. But uh, because I was young, I had to go and take care of my baby. Mm -hmm. And uh, now my daughter is 35, and she, I got a grandbaby. Oh, so, no. Nah. So yeah. I just want to leave y'all with that, man. I, I really enjoyed it. Well, see, well, see, the thing about it is, I just want to add it to you, is that okay, you, can, you, can, you, can, you can do whatever you want to do. It's just that when you start having kids, it makes it a little harder. So easy. when you ain't got make kids, it a lot harder. It, well, yeah. You, but I've seen people that have kids early, and they go on, they be, you know, they do great things. So you just have to let them know that, okay, pass the fun, pass the baby. Okay, this is what you got. 
And for the next 18 or whatever, really, you don't really ever stop being a parent. You really don't. And so, yeah, sure. so it's like, if, and if you understand all that comes with that, and you still make that choice, that's you know, cool. hey, that's what it is. That's so, on you. thank you for calling, man. We definitely. Yeah, appreciate sure. It. Hey, uh, uh, Silky, keep it up. Uh, uh, Z. Hey, hey yes, sir. Enjoy the show tonight, man. Great topic. Oh yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah. have a wonderful night. Hey, man. hey, right. hey, you be good, man. All right. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Hey, double step. There you go. Man, what was I gonna do? I was doing something with this. I broke gonna, that, man. I broke it? You broke that. Oh, man. I'm <laughs> to, I ain't getting paid this week. <laughs> hey, but you know, ah, man, I, I really, truly appreciate the people's honesty yeah. on talking about this here. Because it, really. He said, boys and girls, it's different. Stand. He, he it's said, different stand. because he have boys. He have a girl and yeah. boy. A boy stand. and two girls. Wow. He it is it's different stand. Hey Alicia. Well what, what what got me was that the daughter that was turning twenty one said that when she gets older she's going to it's have the same status, an equal playing field. And so you don't know as a parent though. I you know, it, it's difficult because I think any parent wants to protect their child. They mm -hmm. want the best for their child. And 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 you know, I me personally, I know when I was raising, I was, hey, I whooped my kids, I ain't, you know. Some people say they talk to their kids. It works. It's not all the time. Whooping was working? Whooping, whooping. I think I needed whooping. I, 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 I was whooping. I think I needed and, whooping. When I was young, I needed whooping because I was the type of child who's like, I'm going to do it anyway. Well, see, see, and the reason why is because me growing up, I was a very destructive child. I tore stuff up. You just tore up the mic. I, I see what I'm talking about. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? Some things you just don't outgrow. And so, <laughs> and so, uh, you know, I had them ones that'll say, hey man, hey, don't do that and don't touch that. Uh -huh. And they look at you. Because hey. <laughs> you gonna have to, you know, they from Missouri, you gotta show me, you know? And so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah don't, don't, to don't, to don't, don't touch it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Wow. Yeah, and I and I wasn't really bad. I just wanted to know what stuff. What you was a curious child. Like if I poured water in there, what would happen? Man, the show would be over. I just wanted to do that. I just, just wanted to do stuff like that. Hey, I, I had this. Uh, like what happened if I pee in this heater? Man, in the bathroom, what would happen? <laughs> First, why? Why? That's just. A, but you know, I sympathize. I, 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 I remember one Christmas. My mom had got me a remote control car. And this remote control car, I don't know how much it cost, but it meant a lot because my mama got it for Christmas. Santa Claus brought that to you. No, nah, she was like, <laughs> if Santa Claus came in my house, my daddy would probably shoot him. I'm just saying. <laughs> so anyway, I, I, I had this car. I played with it for however long and the battery goes down. You know, I want to know how it works. So I picked the hammer up and I goes to bashing away. Mom comes in there and she like, ah oh, man, I spent this money. And then you know, if Christmas turned into the Christmas mascot, the Christmas, the Christmas beat. Mm. Needless to say, wasn't no more toys ever told on Christmas. Hey Camilla. Wow. Yeah man. Ah. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. yeah. Sex before you read. Oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. No, it was that wasn't in my county. Okay. Man, are you a big FIFA fan, man? Huh? A FIFA, the World Soccer. Are you into them? No, I, I, I've been seeing some posts and stuff, but Shout I... Shout out to France, man. They won the World Cup. I heard about France got a whole bunch of African brothers on their yeah, team. Yeah, and France is... They have said, people said that they haven't enjoyed the experience going there because of the way they treat black people there. And but I they know, know what they, they know they need to win. But they, they, but they use the... Yeah, so... Right. I don't know. But anyway, shout out to the World Cup. It's the one. Hey, it's like, it's like um, the Olympics, man. People come together, so. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they, they, they won. What else happened? Oh, Trump was in Russia, man. Did you hear what he did? Mm -hmm. Man, I just got to play, bro. Go we ahead, man. I'll try. All right, I'll so, try it, okay, so everybody knows. How was his hat piece? You know his hat piece was falling. No, his, his hat piece. Man, it was sold in in balance. So look. I, I'm watching this and I'm like, I'm kind of in disbelief. So, you know, everybody know the World Cup was in Russia. So, 
he flies there. I'm thinking he's going to congratulate France for winning. Uh -huh. And he's down there, I guess, to have some kind of conference with, with uh, Russia. Putin, Putin, Putin. Puke. Yeah, there you go. And they stand in there. Now, the discussion is about the uh, Russian people affecting the election while he got elected. Mm -hmm. And he is the leader of the free world, right? He's supposed to be saying, uh, yeah, y'all did it and stuff like that. He sided with Russian like, oh, yeah, y'all are right. Yeah, of course y'all couldn't have done that. Our people don't know what we're talking about. I'm like, man, this is, this is, this is treasonous, man. How do you, can, can you just get on there and just, I don't know. He keep doing stuff that's supposed to get him impeached, but the more he say, the more they, so. Hey, Laura, what Laura said, what approach should parents have? What approach, what, what approach should parents have? About sex? Is that what you mean, Laura? Hey, Laura. How you doing, Laura? Still got to get Laura that, that tripod. I got that tripod for you, Laura. I just no, got to leave. That's the team. That's, no. Sorry, Laura. Not you. Team, I got the tripod for you. Uh, Feel, I'm feeling like, you know. Yeah. Team what approach should they have about what? Oh, what she said. I guess she's saying what approach should the parents have? Man, okay. I think it's just talking man it's no you can't just you know uh, oh you had a sex can't be like that oh, i did you, oh, oh. i didn't use them words i used other words oh, what oh you oh yeah, yeah. The youtube you put in your yeah the yeah. youtube version yeah i know it's a rough <laughs> rod in your face that i was going for shock value <laughs> <laughs> and i guess for me it was like which is weird because you know uh I, I listened to the gentleman that just got off. Before. We just got off. What was his name? Uh, but but Jimmy, Jimmy. Mr. Jimmy. And he was saying that you know his father when he was growing up, his father was saying, "I want no punks, right?" And you know that was that was prominent a lot with me. And they were saying that stuff. Hey man, let me know you. Let me know you can bring me a boy. Yeah. You know my dad was a very quiet man, and he didn't really had a conversation. But you know when he spoke, he said you know he was a few words. But when he did spoke, you say stuff like, uh, you ain't doing that, you got no business doing it. And, and you know like, exactly what he was And I knew exactly what he was talking about. So that's what I'm saying. As a parent, you got to know your kid. Right. It just ain't no getting around. But, um, man, what else happened this weekend, man? Oh, well, I know you talked about your thing, man, yeah. with the, uh, huh? No, 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 it's right. Okay, no, yeah, I talked about the hard walk and uh, okay, okay. With, my, with my cousin Landon, he, he did his thing. We Shout had, out. We had DJ I'm Good in the building, hey, ripping man. it up on the wall. If y'all had black on the thing, I've seen this this young man here go, and man, you going to get your money's worth. That's all <laughs> I got to say. Oh, we got, a new, say. we got a new cat. He was DJing, okay. and I was MCing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm talking about, when I say, holy dime, uh. He held it down. Uh, uh. Vicky Foot, Vicky Foot, Vicky Vicky Uh oh. What well, what's the song you played whenever we started the, the walk? Come on. Walk it like I talk it. Walk it. Walk it. Like what they saying now? Walk, <laughs> yeah. walk, walk, walk it. Walk it. But it was a hot walk. You get it? It was a hot walk. Like so it was like, okay, we're gonna start the walk in three, two, two. one. They shot the gun. Walk it like I talk. I said, oh, man, yeah. Yeah, 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 he yeah. got it. He got it. What's up, Connie? Man. You just had a birthday. What you did when you... I think I shot you off for your birthday. I'm late. It was way late. I'm sorry. What else happened? Hey, man, did you see that that uh, it was on there, that the challenge Drake was issuing out for the... the... Wait, no. Nah, I got to talk about it because... Did you see that thing I posted today? About the woman? No. The woman that... No, the, it was Ice Cube standing in the pinky shop and he mm -hmm. had the gun and they started singing. He said, say it again, you... <laughs> oh. No, I, 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 I got I just gotta say it because I mean it was it was probably the most uh boldest approach. It was hey. like, uh uh on the challenge was the one Will Smith did. Did you see what he did? What he did? He was in Budapest, man, and he got on some type of climbed up some kind of bridge and was on top of some kind of sculpture and he was just doing it and it was like, oh man, he had a drone. Following him around, I was like, oh man, it was it was epic, man. It looked like a like a film, a promotion for something. Hmm. And he was just trying to win the challenge. So you know he won the challenge. How, what did he win? 
for it. There wasn't no money with it. I think it was just a mission and challenge. You know, you can create a challenge. You know yeah, that, right? Yeah. You know, I want to challenge everybody, all my friends, to get on this show and call in. <laughs> Ooh, challenge. call in. You have to. Well, hey. Just say, what's up? And what's then hang up. What's up, Sigma Mac? Hang up. What's yeah. up, Sigma Mac? What's up? Yeah, see how many calls we can get. That's a challenge. Man, man. Yeah. gotta pull it in. Okay. Yeah, but uh, that, that, that. But, uh, no, hold on. What's, what's the date? Let me look at this calendar. We got some, uh, we got some. What are you calendar? You got your calendar here? Let me see. Let me see. Let me, this takes so see. long with my dog. Let me see what I can pull up right quick. Because these phones are so different. It's so no, they, they're a lot. Here you go right here. This is the calendar right there. Don't you need to see? Mm. So, next week, uh-oh, 23rd, mm-hmm. will be the last show. For a while, <clears throat> but chilling out back by the pool. I uh, kind of said she at home chilling out back in the pool by by her. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, and you know your uh your future daughter-in-law, your son. They just sent that stuff today. Oh. A lot of this stuff. So yeah, I'm kind of. I'm kind of ready to ring somebody's neck, but it's all oh. good. I get it together. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah, her son getting married next week. Okay. Next, yeah, next Sunday. Mm. So we gonna we gonna do that over there. All right. Uh, yeah, next Monday <clears throat> it's gonna be top. Uh, I don't even know what to do. Well, uh, I mean, you know, I mean, you gotta tell people. And uh, definitely, you, you want to, you know, bam, you know. But when is it coming back? I don't know. Okay. But when it do come back. Call in. How do y'all feel about next week being the last show? The last show. Man. But Been going for when, it, when it do come back, I got to go do some construction on it, on the show, kind of patch it up. It's going to come back it. stronger. When it come back, boy, it's gonna it's gonna come back better. It's gonna be like If they have no news, any scandals? No. I don't know. Look at said Cardi B had a baby. Yeah. That was a long time ago. Was it a long time ago? Okay, shut up. Shout out to Cardi B. I'll see if I have that baby. But, yeah. Because yeah. I think she had a baby before they found out she was married. Ooh. Because she hid it. Well, actually, they was married. Oh, first. no, no, no. I know what, what happened. Did you did you hear that on the news with uh, Kanye West dancers? One of the uh, backup dancers that he got. Me too, boo. These girls was, I don't know these girls. I think these girls were prostitutes. But huh. They were twins. One girl, I guess she was having sex with a man and she was texting the guy. Guy had sex with him. While he was having sex, he did some drugs, died. She took his credit card and racked up like $20,000 on him. And so then after that, you know, they found him. She's like, well, I didn't kill him. Like something you see in the movie. And so now they they, they got him out of jail, but they got to go back to jail and they kind of, like they distance themselves or something. So, I don't know. So, wait, back up a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> uh, so they had sex. Yeah. Well, they, okay. So this is he died. He died. They agreed to a price. The price was like I think five hundred. Yeah, that's the golden rate now. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They didn't. They did not identify race anything. But he was like uh, a, the way you know when you read people's conversations, you kind of get the ethnicity of them. He was like, what kind of booze you want? I'm like, booze? We don't say booze. Yeah. <laughs> he wasn't we, this. we don't talk like that. <laughs> this. Or this. Or this. Yeah, yeah. It's something other. <laughs> something other. But just think about it. Like, that's got to be you. First of all, you're with a prostitute. You don't, you die either in the course or before that, happened. How he died? How you think he died? Probably by said, two, well, two minutes by Well, they said he died from a drug overdose. So whatever he Viagra. was taking, 
Tidak ada Tidak ada Tidak ada <laughs> Unless He took two minutes before she got there Oh And then he was just If he, if he was on his back, he died up. If he was laying on his stomach, he, he still he died, died, up. died up. Died up in the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's, that's just nasty. Uh, yeah. You know, when people do a little nasty things like that, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't think that that's going to be the last time. That mm. they, you know, last they time they... Yeah, the last time. Knock like, this out. Nah, they just, they, they just drink the water. They having it fun. They doing what they do, and then they just, ah! yeah. Ah! <laughs> Boy. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Oh man, it's 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 got to be this. Wait a minute. Wait, wait. <laughs> I'm not ready. <laughs> oh man. So, so. Not like this, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I got it. You play. Yeah. See, that's what he said. He probably did that before. He probably did that before. All the time. He probably was all the time. A little nasty. What's up, Misha Tisdale? Yeah. I didn't mean to say the old name. Like Welcome hey, to girl. the show. Hey, if you're just joining, we were talking about uh, kids having sex. And when did you start talking to them? Yeah, uh, Connie, if you're still watching. Yes. What is your opinion? We would appreciate any conversation. What was the age of your child when you talked to him about sex? Or did you? Or did you talk to Or him? what was your approach if you did? Or did you come home one day and ooh, <laughs> And find out your baby boy dude. was on a Viagra. Yeah! Well, you know, the kids, the kids, they don't need Viagra. Like, they, <laughs> they, they stay ready. They just, you know. Ooh. Ooh. What? The kids stay ready. You with the kid? Whoa. We didn't have Viagra and all whoa, that back whoa, in the day. Whoa. It was just, what'd whoa. you say? Whoa. What'd you say, titty? <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah. you saying the truth? I mean, My mama watching. Oh, sorry, nah, mama. Mama, mama apologize, mama. It's the truth, though. It's the truth. But, uh, you gotta talk to kids about sex, though. What's up, Rob? We got, we got Louisiana deep up in here tonight. Misha, you gonna uh, call in? Please, call in. Call in, Misha. Rob, Rob, right, Rob. Right. Okay, this is the topic tonight. What is appropriate age to talk to your child about sex? Come on, call in with us now. The number is 713-714-7670. Call us, let us know, let us know. Bebo, Bebo. That's how I sign, that's how I call I'm just waiting for that. Kanye, <coughs> mm. I mean, what you saying what for? About uh, okay. it might have been that story we talked. Oh, she about. said she's coming as a guest soon. You gonna have to wait, chick. <laughs> Unless you're coming next week. Mm-hmm. Next week. Now you gonna be busy next week. I already know you got a lot of stuff next week. Oh yeah, you can come Monday. Yeah, cause I was thinking. Well, hold, on, hold on, let me see. Yeah, that's afterwards anyway. Yeah, you'll be free. You'll be uh, you'll be stress free then. Yeah, come, Connie, come next week if you can. Catch the last one. Mm. Yeah, yeah, Zach. Yeah, man, just what it is. Uh. But yeah, I can't. What was she saying? That's weird. That's it. I don't know. I'm gonna give them a little bit. Maybe they might call. Oh, this is a fun show today. It was good. Because usually we talk about controversial stuff. Just yeah, to, just, to just just to get people talking. Current events stuff, but this was but this was like, an actual show that a lot of people can relate to. Exactly. How do you have these conversations? How do you how do you talk about it? things that you uncomfortable talking about? It? Because if you don't talk about it, you're gonna have to talk about it. You got to. Yeah. Cause like like we were saying when we was younger, we didn't get that we didn't get that talk. Yeah. We didn't get that right away talk. I mean, kind of it's like, hey, why? This is what my mama said. And mama, I know. Uh oh. She said, uh oh, watch out for the pissy tail girls. Yep, I heard that too. And I, and I knew exactly what she was talking about. I well, see, they they didn't have to be as 
maybe it's direct. See, that's why I'm talking about with social media. These kids, they, they getting the raw and uncut. It's, you know, I mean, I just say, you know, me, when I was growing up, you know, I had nasty brothers. So every once in a while I go in the room, I find a tape. Mm -hmm. And that tape had some stuff on it, guys. Gotcha. Yeah, some different stuff there. Some different strokes for what different it, folks. What it was, but what well, it was. Whoa, 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 did you say different strokes? It was, it was, I opened I, I seen it. That was, it was, it was, it was, did you see that one? That was the joke. And so, you know, and so, but now you get, you know, you want to give your kids phones, but if you, and here's yeah, the, When we do give them phones, it's for a concern, like call me if you need me. These kids ain't. But them, they like, like, yeah, I got a phone. Well, listen, if you get any smartphone, nowadays it's a computer. It is. And I don't really know how you monitor. Like, you want to trust your kids, but. You can't trust your kids. You can't trust your kids. Yeah, you got to trust your kids, but you got to you gotta be involved with them by talking to them. Mm -hmm. And so, mm -hmm. if you ain't talking to them, you're going to have to do some parental snooping. Mm -hmm. And that's gonna have to be, mm -hmm. you're gonna have to be slick with it. Mm -hmm. And say, okay, let me go ahead and get on the computer for a little bit, but when you finish, don't log out. Mm -hmm. Go back and look at the mm -hmm. search history. Yeah. Whatnot, you know? But it's see, just, they they know how to delete that. Well, see, if they delete it, then that should tell you something. You don't, do you know if they delete it? Well, yeah, because it'll be a clear history. Well, I know they, they've been they on might the search. Just, they might just clear what they've been on. Well, then, then as, a, as an active parent, you need to know what, they, what was on there before they got on. And then, and then, if they clear it, if they see you coming over that knee, I'm just kind of play it off. Like you ain't asking, you usually, you no, tell don't play them. it off, just run up behind them, what you got? And you pull them away and you say, oh my God, oh, what is this? What, oh my God, you watching this? <laughs> Let me see that. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm gonna tell you. When they when they when they when they when they watching stuff they ain't got no business, it, it seems like when they hit that button, it don't work. Mm -hmm. I said, what you doing? Grab my, my oldest son, he was watching some stuff he ain't no business. I snatched the phone from him. Boy, you the quiet one. So. <sighs> oh, wait, 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 what happened? I had to talk to him, man. Oh. You know? I was you know, he was the one I was really least concerned about. So you're like, I understand what that young man, uh, the, the guy that was calling, that was talking about, you know, he got yeah, the son, the choir. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, uh, Jimmy. Yeah, Mr. Jimmy. Kevin, man, Kevin, man, we want to thank y'all for calling too, cause they thank they you. jumped it off. Man, Kevin say he would wait till 11 years old. Yeah, a man would say. What, how? Seven, maybe? Seven. Seven, yeah. What was the lady that called in? She said it depends on the child and the the situation of the household. Okay. And all of those answers are correct. Yeah, it is. All of those answers are correct. It's a complicated question. Because, because everybody's household is not the same. No. Everybody's child is not the same. Nope. Everybody's different. Everybody got a different method of teaching. Right. And you can you can tell your child your child, you can say, I don't want to catch you right. on this computer, on stuff you and they, they won't do it. That child won't do it. They might have another child, you tell them the same exact thing, the same it. exact way, and then later on they're gonna be on that computer like that's right. That's right. And and, 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 and really and truly, you know, I, I think avoiding is probably the worst thing you can do because they're gonna find it somewhere. So if you could expose them when you think the time is right for you to expose them, then at least you don't have that, I didn't have a conversation, mm -hmm. you know? And I, uh, it's interesting when you talk about this, I talked to a cousin of mine, we, um, he was telling me, you know, his uh, son started uh, college and uh, he found out that he um, was having a child, his sons, is having a child. So I'm like, you are, you gonna be a papa? And you know, he's in the young 40, he's like, yeah, man, I, I don't know how I feel about that. But then he was saying, man, but when I was young, I was wild, so. I said, well, did you did you try to talk to him? He said, yeah, but he wasn't trying to hear me. Mm. What so, that mean? 
Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you can talk to kids, but I guess you gotta, they gonna look at your actions. Mm. So if you're trying to say, I see, I don't, I don't want to say that because I'm not judging nobody, but you know, uh, they have people that have a lot of kids and they're young, and then they try to tell the kids don't have kids because look what look at me, and it's that's a hard thing. Well, what do you mean? What do you mean? Look at you? No, I'm saying like they say like, hey man, you know I had three, four kids, I had to go work, and now you know uh, I don't want you to have it. But see, they be like 26, 27. Their kid be like 13, 14 years old. Mm-hmm. And so my thing is like, that's a harder sell. That's like if you, oh, okay. if you, if you, if you, 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 you're an alcoholic, but you're telling your kid don't drink. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, they're gonna look at your actions and it's not gonna have. And sometimes it away. might be, it might be the reverse. You might see your parents do something, something and go away from it, true? Yeah, and you might do the opposite. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna do that. So, yeah. Yeah, you, you, you know, it's. Like she was saying earlier, it's just, it just depends on the people. Right. And it do. It's, that's that's a perfect answer. It, it just good point. All right, yeah. Good. Thank we like you for point. we like good points. Thank you for and uh, yeah, it just depends on the people. And uh, you know, like you you have what three boys? Three boys. Yeah. One of your boys might look at you and be like, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do like I'm gonna do like my dad did. He did. Right. One of the other boys might be like. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stay in school. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna do that. That's right. You know, my dad told me it was hard. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. other one might be like, I don't care. I'm just gonna go for what I know. Yeah. Catch me if you can. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, and that's and that's the thing about it is you know you really have to deal because you can be successful with one kid and maybe not as successful with another kid. Everybody's method is of understanding and learning is different. Hmm. And so my thing is just to keep talking to him. And, it, it, and the thing is, the kid does have a kid. It's okay. Like I think a lot of kids. No, it's not. Make, no, it's okay. No, it, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Don't. No. No, it's not. It's not okay. But it's okay. It's okay. It's, it's not okay. But it's okay. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta have a conversation. You know, it's gonna be very hard. You're gonna be on your own, and you know deep down you're gonna help them, but. They have to understand that life is different now. You don't get to go have fun. Life ain't yours no more. There you go. There you go. Life is your life. That baby's life. life. His little life is your life now. Right. Right. Yeah. So that that but that comes with that comes with parenting. That comes with that comes responsible. That that comes with responsibility. Responsible parenting. Yeah, but you, you 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 see these stories, man. When you got parents that did everything right. The other guy pregnant because she listened to some boy or she really liked this boy and he told her he was going to pull out. You know, all boys lie when they say that. You know what I'm saying? So, no. Uh-huh. They all lie. No. Yeah, they all lie. No. They all lie. No. <laughs> Mostly all of them lie. <laughs> But no, I just, I just think you just have to, you know, you got to talk to him. You got to talk to him. Yeah. And if no. you ain't talking to him, somebody else is. Somebody going to be talking to him. Oh, man, just go ahead and do it. I do it. I do it all the time. You know. All you got to do yeah. is hold your breath yeah. and you won't get a pregnant. <laughs> He's people, people this is why, this is there. why, but this is why it needs to start earlier then when they get to high school, because by the end, they're talking about the body parts. Mm-hmm. This is this, and this is a uh, penis, and this is a vagina. They know that already. Yeah. They know it in a lot of other words than that. Yeah. And so you gotta, you gotta tell them, okay. Oh, and, and what's, I was watching a movie the other day, and I kind of, uh, <laughs> I kind of heard something. They, they was talking about what's a rim job. You know what a rim job is? This is. I have an idea of what it what? is. It's like a rim job would be like a blow job or something. Is that what it is? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying. It just sounds like it would be. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what a rim a rim job. Is. It sounds. What? Well, Akina, a what's a rim? Oh, he knows what a rim job is? I, I guess know. that's the young talk. If y'all know the rim oh, job. You know the rim job? Was I off time? <laughs> I missed it by a whole ball. Okay. We was watching a movie. What was that movie? Rim Vacation. Job. They was talking about a rim job. 
Man, I'm gonna look this up. I think it's like turkey or something. Man, I, I don't know. I just, you know, I, I have to. <laughs> He's laughing at I'm, I'm, If I'm, anybody out there know got a young kid, what a rim kid, job is, they hear that, and they know what a rim job is. I, I just want to know what a rim I, job. I, I need to get up on my youth uh, terminology. Yeah, I mean, they uh. Okay, Urban Dictionary. I don't know if this is right. Okay, so y'all, y'all, let me know. Rim jaw. <laughs> oh my God! What is that? What is it? It says the act of kissing or licking somebody's asshole. Uh uh. <laughs> uh uh. Oh no, rim job over here. No, I'm serious. The act of kissing. Wow. Oh. You and somebody booty. They said that on the movie? That's what they say. That's what this say. I don't know. Is that right? If that's right. Oh, he said it's right. We got oh, it. Oh, we got oh, it. Oh, oh, we got <laughs> it. Saint, Saint Ship. Oh. Shot fire. Shot fire. Rim jump. Oh, yeah. ba, 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 ba. oh, my God. Catch this. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's, 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 wow. Oh, I get it, a blow job and a rim job. Rim. Wow. I don't know. Feelings, so uh, deep in my feelings. Man. In my feelings. Slop and chop. What is that? That's the name of who posted this, slop and chop. A uh old, -oh, uh -oh, uh oh, rim job <laughs> expert. <laughs> wow, I gotta start listening for stuff like this because this would be under the radar in my house. Yeah, they be just saying it in front of you. Don't yeah, man, I got that rim job. I'm playing <laughs> basketball. I got that rim job oh, game. Some car, a car. Or yeah, I got that rim job. I'm like, oh yeah, call you. What's up? I'm like, okay, yeah. No, that's not what it means. That's not even close. I was thinking like Man. some kind of a, some kind of a car, rim, a rim, you know, rim. I mean, look at some of the, I'm not going to say this in there, but just look at some of these sentences that they say they go with it. Wait, Absolutely. Way too close to it. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. We just, you know, I have, yeah, just absolutely. Wow. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah it's just awful. Just, just completely. Ah! Is you that, gotta be kidding me, man. Is is that even What's up, Jazz? Is that even legal? Mmm, that the second one was horrible. That one was. Yeah. That's what's going on now. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Jazz. Monique, what's up, Monique? Okay, these these are two people I know they got young kids. Uh -huh. And we talked about it the other day, because Monique was with us with at my cousin's house. Uh, Monique, if you watching, I want to ask you a question. Jazz, same thing. Um, okay, Monique is on. Monique, I don't want to call your last name or nothing, but uh, you can call in if you want to. The number is 713-714-7670. Uh, okay, you got a young child. What would be the pr appropriate age that you talk to your child about having sex and how would you uh oh my god <laughs> and then no, sorry. and then uh how would you approach him oh, with that you can call <laughs> him call in and talk to him <laughs> call in and talk to him uh, this is awful we need to do a show just on this man uh, oh man people yeah call in and tell us the number is 713-714-7670 man his rules to this. Um, all of them bad. It's DJ, I'm good. Okay. Yeah. It, you, you missed the whole word. Okay. I'm good. DJ, I'm good. Yeah. That's. I didn't know. You know Jazz. what? This is great when you can come and you find new things. Jazz, call in if you don't mind. 713 714 Monique. You can call in too because we want to hear. We had some wonderful callers earlier. They called in and gave they uh, fabulous opinions and comments about how they would handle the situation or how they handled the situation already. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, what age and stuff like that. So I want to hear y'all, hear y'all opinion on comments. Sidebar, man, I, I got a new book I started reading. <clears throat> Our good friend, actress Dick Gregory, uh, uh, you know, he's no longer with us, but uh, he had a book that recently came out, Defining Moments in Black History. Read it between the lies. Mm. And, uh, Not the lines, the lies. If any of y'all are familiar with Dick Gregory, you know, he he tells you just like it is. Like a T.I. And, uh, yeah, I, uh, I I just got out. I have, I don't know a lot about it, but if any of y'all is interested in it, it's a it's a really good, a really good uh, read. Sure. So, man. Mm. But I guess the ladies ain't gonna call in, money. Have you did the, the 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 version of the show with Ghost Sitcher? Have you did that? Again? No, I ain't did okay. that one yet. Okay. I'm gonna do that about the guy in the pool. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, oh, I want to talk to you about something, man. We had a brief conversation before we hit on the air. Uh, the post, did you talk about the one with the post with the white lady wanting to do the genocide? Or... No, that's the next one. Okay, okay. That's a whole nother topic. That's, yeah, that's a whole nother. That's a whole nother. Okay. We can, we Tune got, in. We got some stuff on top of that. Yeah. And it's gonna run all, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we already got that okay. kind of mental, uh, you know, making shit get aching fake. Hey, <clears throat> all right. So, what are we talking about? No, uh, Monique, if you're watching, if you want to call, please call. <laughs> call in. Please call in. Yeah. 713-714-7670. Seven zero. Seven one three seven one four seven six seven zero. Call in. We want to hear your comments. Don't be shy. Call in. I'm a nice guy. Mm. The nice guys finish last. Oh. But wait, though. What was that post earlier? You were in fifth grade in his Mars play. Was you a nice guy then? Yeah. They just thought I was. See, we can't say that because they wasn't watching me. Okay. They just missed it, you missed it. They just <laughs> missed it, you missed it. Oh, oh, what was that? It sounded like it was something. Oh, Somebody, she called, oh, she called and she got scared and hung up. Well, you know, don't be scared. Yeah, call back, yeah, call back. Call back. Yeah. We waiting on you. Yeah. I'm sorry. The topic was, for those that's turning in, is that if you had a child and you want to talk to them about sex, what's the appropriate age? Is there appropriate age? Do you wait till you find out they're having sex? Do you talk to them at all? Do you scare them? What is your approach? Do you scare them? Please call. What you doing talking, talking to them girls on the phone? What, what you, you doing talking to them little boys on the phone? Yeah. I'm going to yeah. kill you. Yeah. I'm going to knock your head off. What's yeah. up, Ronnie? Ronnie, come on in. I wish you would. I wish I would catch you on the phone with a little boy. I wish I would catch you on the phone with a little girl. Who you think you is? Yeah. You see, still see. you still pee in the bed. <laughs> so, hey, you know the thing about it that's when we was growing up, what cell phones? Everybody had that one house phone. Mm -hmm. So your mom or dad could just pick up the phone and embarrass the hell out of you. Oh, man. Now they could just end the call, you know? Yeah. And so I don't know. And, the, and you know they're talking in emojis now. Yeah. Yeah, it's, they don't they're even... sexting. No, yeah, they they doing that, but they using pictures to mean certain things. To to mean certain things, and they got a code. It's like an unwritten code that these yeah. kids got. Well, you can't, you can't, you can't, uh, you can't, you can't hide it or stop them. But if you talk to them, you can not stop them. You pay the phone bill. You can not stop them. But even if you do that, they'll find another way. They'll find another way. They'll get on your computer. They're gonna have to be taking the computer. They're My gonna kids gonna have to be telepathic. They ain't taking no computer. Okay, well they ain't gonna take they a computer. Like, they go to school. <laughs> you ain't gonna be with them then, you know. And uh, then, so you, they log then, on. You, then you hear one of these stories of one girl or one boy get caught in the bathroom. Mm. And then be end up your being a yeah. End up being your kid. Your kid all in the nasty. All in the boys' bathroom on the nasty, pissy, dirty floor. Yeah. Getting some girl pregnant. Yeah. 
This way you and, got it. And <laughs> not only that, you got these parents that are, that are hardcore. They, you know, look, in high school, especially when it's from 12th to 9th grade, that's a big one. Is it what? It's a blend. Like they, there's no separation from the uh-huh. ninth to the twelfth grade. So you got that twelfth grader that's eighteen with that 14, 15 year old that's full of that Chick Fil A. And and what? if they do something, what? Then you you got statutory rape. Oh. If the parent want to press it, the and, kid can go to jail. And she she got more meat on her ham sandwich than, than let's just than say she teacher. got around. <laughs> She got around. <laughs> she got more brisket on her burger than uh she 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 than the barbecue shop. Than the barbecue shop. <laughs> <laughs> A whole slab. She got way more ham than sandwich, I'll tell you that. Man. <laughs> let's just say <laughs> let's just say you just don't want to get to that point. Yeah, you, you talk know. to your kids, please. You know. Because what's happening is you got a lot of Kids having kids and some of them ain't really. Like like Jimmy say. Mm-hmm. The little girls come up to him talking about, yeah, you can't handle this. All this. All of what? I don't know. Some of them might actually be. I don't know. All of this. And that's what I'm saying. They little girl, they full of that Chick-fil-A. They full of that burger. But see, but see, but when they you full of the milkshakes. But check it out though. When you when you, when you turn on, on when you turn on the on the TV, what are you seeing? Milk shake shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake it. And, you know, yeah, that's it. So they had a, uh, they had a, they got a midget doing. I know you ain't supposed to say midget, but they had a little a, person to walk. A, no, it was a midget. Was a she was twerking. <laughs> she was. Oompa. She she was twerking to the little oh, Drake song. Yeah. What's the name of that song? Uh, this is this, huh? This is going. To, this is going to. What? What is it called? In my feelings. In my feelings. She was doing the in my feelings challenge, and uh, she got the car. Little midget. She was. Did you watch even, the whole episode? Wasn't even taller than the steering wheel. Did she you watch the whole thing with her doing the twerking? Oh yeah, I watched it a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> I actually shared it. <laughs> I was like, look at this little midget booty. Little booty. Little midget booty. People can say midget. People say nigga all day. Mm. Nigga midget. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> mm. And I get which one would I get in trouble for? Mm. A no. nigga midget or a midget nigga? Man, I think it's running close race. A uh, faggot nigga midget. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. I don't care. Mm. But we just talking. This is talk up. That's what we did. Talk up. Uh, Four seconds to call it. Just say hey. You don't have to even talk about the topic. Just say, I want to say hi. Thank you. I guess they don't want to talk to me. Zeke. Man, well, you know, call it next week. Next week gonna be the last show. Next week gonna be for the last a little show. bit, and so and definitely we are gonna have a lot to load. We gonna rebuild it. I might, I might get a reboot it. Yeah, I might get a different studio too. Ooh. Ain't no telling. You know what though? That's cool. But you know what though? As long as you come with the truth, people will listen. Mm. So that's how we're gonna do that. Bigger and better. That's how we're gonna do that. But I'ma still be putting putting the videos out there. If, oh, yeah. uh, if y'all haven't seen it, I put a video. So, what's up, Robin? I put a video out there with this guys in the pool, and he was doing some weird movements and stuff. Looked like he was just. The Watch guy looked like he had, like you said, Tourette syndrome. Like I seen him. Like cerebral palsy. Oh, uh, cerebral palsy. Something in the way your body don't move the way it's supposed to. Right. And I mean, he was. Okay, cerebral cerebral palsy is a brain uh, disorder, and your brain fires. Misfires. Like, yeah, misfires at the wrong moment, right. at the wrong time, and you 
Like, say if I was reaching for this mic stand, I right. would, it would, my arm wouldn't go exactly. You can't control your body. You can't, face. exactly. Right. So this guy was actually moving like that. And I first, when I clicked on, I was like, whoa. You know, I hope you don't get in the water because he's he not going to be able to swim. He going to drown. Yeah, so I was like, no, no, this is not one of these videos, I hope. And I watched the video, and he was, I don't know what he was doing. He was swinging his butt. He had his little bitty drawers on it, wasn't swimming trunks. And then he got up out the pool and then he walked off. Tidy Whitey's. Yeah, he, he Tidy did. Whitey Tim. It was a Tidy Whitey Tim. So I did a video on it, so y'all go on there, click on Check it. Check on it, yeah. Share it. It's kind of funny. And then he walked off, then like he, nothing was wrong. He walked off like nothing, nothing was wrong. He was just, uh -huh. uh, yeah. Wow. So this, this the end of the show, and in, in the, every show we try to give somebody to go Sit your ass down award. And shout out to Tidy Whitey Tim. So we want to shout out to Tidy Whitey Tim. Please go. Go sit, sit your, your ass down out. somewhere. And yeah. that's it. <laughs> I'm Silky Black. Hey, I'm Zeke, man. Enjoy y'all. Uh, tune in next week. It's going to be the last show, so we're going to go out with a bang, but we're coming back. Yeah, we're coming back. We got to patch it up, put some uh, band-aids on it, and get it shiny again. You know what I'm saying? Like, it never shine before. That's yeah! Right. Hey! I'm yeah. out, y'all. Hey, thank y'all for yeah. watching all the comments and stuff. I love y'all. Thank, thank, thank you, thank black, you, thank black, you. Black, 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 black. Yeah. Check one, check two, check one, two, one, two, one, two.
There you go, there you go, yes, yes, one now. Okay, ready? 